welcome to Art That Plays and Praise. I'm so excited to have you back in my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Ginger and this is what we will make today. For this episode, I took inspiration from a jewelry box which I hand painted years ago. This used to be a plain pine wood box which I bought from a local craft store. I played around with it using ac acrylic paints and this was the result. On the top cover here, you'll see I drew a tricycle, which is a form of public transport that's common in Asia. I like how this looks, so I thought I'd recreate the concept on a larger canvas. I'm prepping the canvas with golden acrylic glazing liquid. If you don't have this, it's fine. You can use Mod Podge. And um, I'm gluing down torn pieces of this old dictionary. Yeah. I know it seems barbaric that I'm breaking down big chunks of this book, but it's pretty common for artists that, uh, to do something like this. My whole concept is to make the underpainting really textured and very bumpy. The more creases there are, the better because it adds depth and character to the painting. So that's what I'm doing here. And I'm going to paint the sides of this canvas as well. So even if some of the paper just spills over to the sides, it's fine. Now I'm using some modeling paste. Uh, this is Liquitex because it's a thick gel that can be mixed with inks or acrylic paint. And if you want to go for a textured look in your painting, this is what you can use. It almost gives you that sculpture feel on the canvas because this gel can hold peaks very well. Um, the whole thing I, I'm going for here is an intuitive painting, which is a fancy way of saying playtime. This is where we can do whatever, like everything is loosely planned here. The whole idea is to just randomly throw in the colors you want or put the texture that feels right for you at the moment. There's no need to overanalyze the painting process, just play and be impulsive and let your subconscious side just flow. In other words, in kindergarten, you have a name for this. They call this finger painting. But for us adults, it's kind of like kind of babyish to call it finger painting. So I'm we're calling it intuitive painting, but it's the same concept anyway. So what I did was just to pick up anything uh, like a lot of the materials here at home. Like you notice, I I just use some makeup sponge like this is a uh, this is a cup from a Tylenol, a kid's tyl Tylenol. I'm just using this as a stamping tool. And I hear an unsharpened pencil, like anything you find at home, it can even use bubble wrap. Like I, I kept some of my bubble wrap from my Amazon purchases. So I'm just throwing it colors, any colors here and there. Um, well, well, most of these, like this underpainting, will be partially covered later on. So you might think it's a waste of effort to splatter all these textures on the canvas. But actually, this underpainting will still show through. It's this layer that will give our final painting its much needed depth and character. So without this elaborate uh, underpainting, the top coat will look flat and bland and uninteresting. So. Don't feel bad if much of what we worked here well, will eventually cover. Anyway, I forgot to, I forgot to mention, um, I used some marker pen to sketch the tricycle somewhere in the middle of this canvas. I didn't realize my video equipment ran out of battery, so I wasn't able to document that part. But suffice it to say, the uh, my drawing is somewhere here. Is somewhere here. It's just difficult to discern because uh, the messy jumble of colors here, so it's kind of camouflaged. So while I'm painting the background with uh, white acrylic, I'm really very careful not to go over my doodles. So here, um, I'm just trying to define some of the sections of the tricycle by putting in some inks and some acrylic paints, but I'm not making it so opaque. I'm very light in my brush strokes here because I still want some of the underpainting to show through. And uh, some of the lines that I used, uh, I used a marker 
marker pen a while ago for those lines but I'll cover this with a uniball signal this white um, white pen white gel pen for a list of the materials I'll, I'll show them all down there in the description box so don't worry if if I'm kind of fumbling with how I'm explaining this it's just like I just want my hands to work but not my mouth my mouth does not do so much explaining I'm not very good at explaining things I just want to paint anyway so just to add a few interesting details here I'm just using my uniball signo to just doodle doodle away wherever you want to put a doodle just go ahead feel free that's the whole concept of intuitive painting anyway there you have it I hope you enjoy this whimsical painting I'd appreciate it if you can spread the love and share my channel to your friends Please subscribe and leave me a comment down below if you have questions or suggestions of stuff you want to learn, which I'd be very pleased to teach. Okay, thank you. And this is Ginger again saying God bless you and see you again soon. Bye.